In this video, we will explain and dissect the anatomy of a targeted cyber attack against a specific utility. As you watch this video, pay attention to the different steps the attackers take to hack into the control system network. One of the things you will learn is that if an attacker has the motivation, time, and resources, they can penetrate almost any organization. How reliable your operation is may someday depend on how quickly you can identify and respond to a cyber incident. For this video, we will focus on a fictitious power generation company as the target. A small group of hacktivists, calling themselves the Deco Eugene, have been steadily building a reputation for daring and irresponsible cyber acts. Their goal is to incite civil unrest and raise awareness of their environmental cause by exposing weaknesses and disrupting critical infrastructure. For the past several months, the attackers have been performing extensive reconnaissance on a targeted utility. This utility serves a large metropolitan area in the United States, takes its security seriously, and is justifiably proud of its track record. This, however, only makes the challenge more exciting for the attackers. During their reconnaissance, the attackers find lists of preferred vendors, company asset locations registered on free public sites, and examine rate case filings for power system information. They investigate FCC filings to obtain data about communication systems and frequencies in use. They even identify and perform in-depth analysis of the utility's employees by harvesting information from the utility's public website, Facebook, LinkedIn, and numerous other social media sites. They are clever and they are thorough. And when their reconnaissance is complete, the attackers have their targets. Several employees at the company receive emails from a vendor they trust. Attached to the messages is a PDF file that appears to be an agenda for an upcoming industry event, just like dozens of others they have received before. However, this email is a fake. It is a customized spear phishing attack that has been modified to silently hack into and infect the targeted system. After the employees open the attachment, the attack is launched. The PDF file exploits a vulnerability in the document rendering software on the user workstation, infecting the workstation and establishing a command and control connection back to the attackers. The malware used in the attack has been customized to avoid detection by most known antivirus solutions, and as such, no alerts are generated. The attackers use the compromised workstations as a staging platform inside the utility's network. They immediately upload a set of customized tools they have developed and begin performing more reconnaissance. They silently watch and learn everything they can about the utility, including reading corporate emails and identifying internal application servers that are accessed by the utility employees. In addition, they search for and back up all the local files from the compromised systems, which they then exfiltrate for further analysis. Finally, they install keystroke loggers, which capture various logins and passwords. When they are through, they have multiple user credentials. The attackers have spent the past three days spreading their access to other computers throughout the network. Erasing the log files of their actions as they go, they move like ghosts through the network, pivoting from one computer to another until they have compromised key operational systems. To complicate detection, they use many of the same standard administrative commands that the utility's administrators use. Leveraging the various compromised assets, the attackers continue to exfiltrate data and build a better picture of the target environment from inside the network. With user logins and passwords, either cracked or stolen along the way, the attackers gain administrator access to the directory services environment, which is used for authentication and authorization to the read-only historian server. 
With a mechanical efficiency, they add additional permissions to a variety of compromised user accounts and modify groups that provide access to sensitive systems. They have obtained multiple points of entry into the compromised network, developed multiple points of data exfiltration, established a foothold on numerous workstations, and maintain a persistent ability to execute tools and commands on infected assets. But they aren't done yet. They have achieved a freedom of movement and will soon have control of enough assets to gain a desired freedom of action. The attackers have found what they are looking for, a data historian server on the control system network with an established, trusted connection to the corporate read-only historian server. The corporate read-only historian provides management visibility to generation unit performance and quality control data. Using an application vulnerability attack, the attackers inject data into the server's database replication process. The last wall has fallen. The attackers achieved this by first monitoring traffic to and from the read-only historian server they compromised on the corporate network. From there, they identified that the master data historian server on the control system network was connecting directly to the read-only historian server. By utilizing this existing bi-directional, trusted connection, the attackers were able to tunnel through the control system network firewall and infect the master data historian. The malicious file immediately launched and saturated the control system network with excessive amounts of garbage data and several network exploit attacks. This resulted in a loss of operator HMI view of the control system being monitored and successfully created a fault condition in a remote PLC that was vulnerable to one of the network exploit attacks. With operations impacted and the utility struggling to find the cause of the incident, the attackers move on to the next target using what they have learned in this campaign. While this is only an example attack provided for demonstration purposes, it is important that you understand a highly motivated cyber attacker can gain access to your networks. While you can take numerous steps to slow down an adversary, at some point you will most likely have a cyber incident. As a result, it is critical that you not only focus on defending your cyber assets, but have the resources and processes to effectively identify and respond to an incident.